Hey y'all, this is Deja Lynn Alvarez, and I'm running for city council at large. I'm the first transgender woman to run for public office in the state of Pennsylvania. It has been an uphill battle. I have faced discrimination, transphobia, threats against my life and my safety. My own identity has been called into question, but I knew this going in, that this would happen. But I'm putting myself on the line because I realize that this is too important. It is time that we start taking our seats at the table all around the country so that we are the ones that have the voice that helps create new legislation and new policies that protect us and ours, our families, our community members. But I can't do this alone. Only together can we win this and can we fight the horrible discrimination that we face every single day. The election is on May 21st. We have less than two weeks left and it takes money to finish this campaign out. Help us take this seat at the table. Go to vote, the number four alvarez.com or dejalynnalvarez.com and click donate. $1, $2, $3, $5. No amount is too small. No amount is too great. Madison, thank you for doing this, sister. I love you. And I hope to see you all soon. We're going to win this election and we're going to do it together. Give it up, bitch. Mm. You got to watch the lights. Listen, y'all, we made all that motherfucking noise and did all that stuff, but you know what we didn't do, bitch? This Mother's Day, we didn't bring out the judge of all judges. Ladies and gentlemen, bring to the stage, Miss Mary! He's an old time God. There she goes. Gonna stir it up, DJ. Let that play for Miss America. Stir it up. Come on, Miss Mary. Yeah. She can't stay, she can't hang that long. Y'all give it up one more time for Miss Mary. Yeah. Stir it up, Miss Mary. Stir it up. That's right, that's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen. Mary, Mary. That's M to the A to the R to the Y. That's Mary. Uh huh. Mary. That's M to the A to the R to the Y. That's Mary. Uh huh. Miss Mary. Stir it up. To the M to the A to the M to the A to the M 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 Say, stir it up, Miss Mary, sir. Keep going, run, damn dick. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be reading tonight, baby, because Dineva the moose, she looking good. Dineva looking good, ain't it, bitch? I mean, I, I do I what I can. I told that bitch all she needed was some rest. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. You know, I don't eat as much as them. I eat like this <laughs> and not like this. Okay. That's because she can't afford it like this. She can't afford it like that. <laughs> That bitch on the ramen noodles, <laughs> six for a dollar. <laughs> the bitch on her last pack, she glad this little kid came through. She could go get her new box of ramen noodles tomorrow. Now say thank you, Maddie. <laughs> thank you, Maddie. Listen, y'all, we about to have a good time tonight, but y'all ready to have a good time? Listen, we got some folks from Charlotte in the house. We got motherfucking Boots over there, the Boots Terrell in the house tonight. Boom, boom. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, and we got my pickle eating bitch, Liz Spirit. Hey, Liz. They say that bitch can eat an apple through a picket fence, goddamn. <laughs> I love me some Lynn. Let me tell you something. Lynn, I got to get you into some porno movies. I want to see you suck a dick with no tooth, bitch. Ooh. I really want to see how that work with no tooth suck on the dick. Oh yeah, just make sure my man ain't nowhere near that bitch. Because <laughs> I ain't a fighter. <laughs> and for those of y'all who follow in the Queen Supreme Court, me, you, Lynn, and a few other hoes are being pulled to Connor. That's right. In July. That's right. We gonna, listen, we're going to scrape them in the chain to get Sophia over there. You know she fly spirit anyway, so it don't matter, girl. We'll get them now. <laughs> she okay. going to have to lose a little weight, though, because we don't need her embarrassing us on the beach. <laughs> and she go. Bitch, you're going to have to get a lot of, ba a lot of a lighter powder. <laughs> oh. 
sitting over there looking like a beach swell. <laughs> hey, Shamu. You, you sitting over there looking like some mud. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, we got to do the docket first when we start reading each other, god damn it. Fuck that black bitch. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right now, water in the cup, god damn it. That's, that's my sister, I love her. I love you more. <laughs> Listen, we are the dream girls, regardless of what anybody say, bitch. Ain't no trio like this right here, the dream girl. We are dream girls. We make you happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are dream girls. We're your dream girl. We are the dream girl. We are the dream girls. We we'll never leave you. You said that. All you gotta do is dream. What you gotta do? All you gotta do is dream. What you gotta do? All you gotta do. And I am telling you, hey, I'm not going. You're gonna love. Why don't you pack it up and move it? Take your cock it and caboodle. Take your smelly cigar and, and your broken down paw and just, just move right out, out, out of my move right out, out, out of my life. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What about what I need? <laughs> what about what's best for me? What about how I feel? What about Neva, me? I got this. Okay, Go get it, girl. What about me? Now you watch your mouth, watch your mouth, this effing white, cause I don't take that toll from no second rate diva who takes the stand. The real loves Jimmy. The real loves Jimmy. The real loves Jimmy. It's true. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. But the real and Jimmy are true. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Why? Okay. There she go. Changing. Trying to be all that I am. Now, Tanita, you fell off the stage before. Now, come over here and sit down, girl. You done man before. Bring your ass over here and sit down. Okay, Craig, we done ran the sponsor already. We did the first sponsor. How about, ladies and gentlemen, we, we pull your dockets out. All my VIP people, pull out your dockets, honey. It's time. Because guess what's getting ready to happen? It's getting ready to be the city of Charlotte versus every motherfucking body right now. First up on the court ledger, y'all did this at the brunch, okay? D Ram was here with you. Y'all put the real side chicks of Charlotte on the dock. Now that's some ratchet ass shit. Oh, oh gosh, you done watch it? No, now I don't know what's in y'all water in Charlotte and what y'all wash y'all stuff with. <laughs> but I ain't never in my life met a bitch that's proud to be a side chick and gonna spray it all down to the internet and to the TV. What kind of uneducated GED had a baby at 14 shit is that? Uh, do, how many security we got here? I need to be woke to my car. Charlotte, is that what y'all get? <laughs> there she go. Is that what y'all got going on right here? Hold on, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Sophia, take the wig off and protect me. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. I need Joe right now. Before, Joe, come on. Wait, before we go any further, okay. are any of the side chicks of Charlotte in here? <laughs> and if so, get your ass the fuck out of here because we honor marriage and commitment. Bad bitch, we don't want you. Girl, girl you done went hard yes, on them. bitch, I'm saved. I changed my life since <laughs> I moved to Miami. I go to yoga. I ain't with that shit. I'm almost 40. I girl, changed I my mind. I don't love him no more. Okay, okay. So, so, Craig, did we have prosecution and defense? So, because tonight, this is the city of Charlotte versus every motherfucker about it. We let in Charlotte prosecute and defend their own. So, Craig, do we have any defense for the real? We got defense, or do we got? We got prosecution. No. Boots. I didn't say prosecution. I ain't called on you yet. Not yet. 
Are they in the court? Not yet, yet prosecute. Not yet. Not yet. Ma'am, don't have us escort to our bailiff. <laughs> she say one more thing. I want to. What is it? Right here. We got, we got Jasmine, right? Jasmine, where you at? Okay, what's your what, what, what name you hold? What's your name? Because the real side chicks of Atlanta, I mean, uh, uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Uh, oh, hold on now. You want oh. me telling you and it's Sophia T. A lot of hoes in Atlanta, too. We call them strippers. <laughs> Damn, oh. I like them strippers. This is my girl, Josie, right here. This Josie. Josie. Big time on YouTube. Big time YouTuber. For those of y'all out there who like, and support black women and smart brown girls because she's she runs okay. a blog and a YouTube channel called Smart Brown Girls for those who are not side chicks of Charlotte. Are they saying over there? Juicy, they, no, is they saying right there? there? Huh? Oh. Is, is this camera right here? They want to add that one. Okay, they want you to walk around to that camera. Stay, stay there, but look at that camera. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So are you for defense or prosecution? I'm gonna, I'm, I, you, look, I respect all black people, so I'm going to defend this. So you should to defend the lady. I'm defend it. Okay, out of come my, on. It's out of my ethical range. But you know, if they shot that shit in Upalaka, it bitches would be on there. JT, the brown leaves would definitely be on there. Hold so on now, don't bring my Miami ain't got nothing to do with that. We ain't got nothing to do with that now. This Charlotte now. Miami ain't got nothing to do with that too. This shit ain't specific to Charlotte. You could do this anywhere. Could, but didn't. And then could, but didn't. It's been, Trick Daddy had a show in Miami with side bitches. Didn't Boosie's show get canceled? Mm -mm. Like this is happening. I didn't see that. So you defending them, sis. So you defending them. I'm just saying, if, we, if we're going to have a law, it got to be universal. Uh-uh, it's from state no. to state, honey. This is some North Carolina shit. Well, well listen. Well, allegedly, hold on. Jews allegedly Bravo sued them. And allegedly, when they heard Bravo sued them, they quit expedition. <laughs> And, 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 and one thing about Miami, bitch, we been ain't had no morals, okay? Right. We been ain't had no morals since the cocaine cowboy days, but y'all was supposed to be saved like this and not like this in Charlotte. We expected a little more from the Queen City, but the Queens is being hoes. Wait a minute. Oh, Maddie, bitch. you know about working with the Queen. Has she go, has I, she, I, I, she I, I, wanna I, I, lean I, I, on me? Okay. okay. How does marriage benefit black women anyway? Oh, see, she real small. Oh Lord, girl, you say so. Please, I don't, cause I can't look. They ain't fucking my husband. But the thing is, like, how do you know? Cause I ain't got one, bitch. But, oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, they be fucking your future. Er Erica Badu behind you. She got something to say. But they, might, but they might be doing some. They might be doing some. Let go, boo, boo. Okay, go ahead. Come on, Erica Badu. Come on, boo. What you gonna do when they come for you? Pum, 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 pum. What can't honest but it pays the bills? Yeah. Come on, booze. We got we got a show to do tonight. No, we can't hear you, girl. Hold on. See, that's because the universe didn't want to hear that shit. <laughs> That shit, she was over there talking. The mic had said, I'm getting tired of oh, your shit. shit. You don't ever have nothing to say. Every time you go somewhere, you got to bring them cards and that turn. Ooh, she look musty as fuck under all that shit. <laughs> She ain't must have boost got a big pussy. Y'all don't see boost pussy hanging up there in the front like that. And I bet it smell like Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you don't want that voodoo -doo bitch on you. You better leave that voodoo -doo bitch alone. Can I get an Italian? Oh shit! Yeah. Can I get an Italian foot long with extra muscle? I need. Are you on your own with this? Cause Boosa cast a spell on you, honey. Oh, all that vinegar, salt, and pepper cut in half. You better leave Boosa alone. Craig, combo. Craig, get Rock to do some. Rock, where you at? Come pass this microphone to Boosa. Come pass this microphone to Boots. Come up here and get this microphone. Because it obviously somebody ain't, ain't uh, charged the microphone up. Who, 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 who's in charge of the mic? Either Vince or Craig. Five Vince or five Craig. <laughs> I keep telling you every show we Thank have to punch it with Vince and Craig. And you keep bragging them about five Vince or five Craig. Shit. Test, test. And that's not allegedly. <laughs> Dineva. All right, Boots, come on. Dineva. We all oh, shit. I think you better go tomorrow. Say what, people? First and foremost, these side bitches of Charlotte are not an accurate representation. 
They may be a representation of about 55% of the hoes in America, but I know my queen city, and we are queens, are we not? <laughs> Secondly, I smell like Givenchy. Oh. <laughs> And my tarot cards make oh about shit. Oh shit. I told you that I need to pull out one of the cards. Bitch, I don't believe in all that hoodoo. <laughs> Get back, Satan. Get back. <laughs> it's all right. Go ahead, boo. However, tell us about the side chicks of Charlotte. In a master of communications education from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, I feel like the side chicks of Charlotte was basically a ploy for publicity. They saw a trend, side chicks, therefore they saw a reality show trend, which is reality television. They decided to exploit it for a pilot and end up getting sued. It, does that represent the community? No. Does that represent the genius of one person? Yes, but he wasn't a genius because he failed and got sued by who? Bravo. Who? And that's what they'll be saying for me after I read for the Queen's Court. All right. All right. So what we gonna give the side chicks of Charlotte, y'all? Charlotte, is this, Charlotte, what we giving the side chicks to side chicks? Hold on, before we send us the side chicks. Hold on, Hold on. before we send us the side chicks. I have a problem. Oh, what's the problem? I have a problem. What's the problem? The problem is y'all want to kill the side chicks right now. But when my favorite show was on, you bitches had a problem with the side chick. What show was that? Color Purple? No, I didn't say the show that you starred in. Because everything you'd have done to me, I'd have already done to you. I'm talking about scandal. Oh, shit. A lot of you bitches were upset when Carrie was playing a side chick. No, but she not was a side playing, chick. The side was, chicks have always been winning. She was playing a bad wench to a cracker in a broom closet. D well, she was a smart side chick. That is true, cause they the side chicks are Charlotte <laughs> fucking the weed man. She was, she, bitch, she, she was, was fucking, fucking the law man. Okay. So, I, but I say since they already getting sued by Bravo, we dismiss the criminal case and defer this to civil court. All right, right. All, in, all in favor oh, say aye. No, no. Aye. No, bitch. We need to just cancel them all together and just don't send them to court. They ain't got no, they ain't got no court fees or nothing. Leave them women alone. No, the, Y'all took their jobs, everything. They got no money. The nickel bag, man, they fucking gonna help. <laughs> now, y'all know them girls get them YouTube checks. We all get YouTube checks, girl. Moving right along. Right. <laughs> All right, next up on the court ledger we have, now see, Charlotte put this on, gentrification. Now, listen, D, D Ramsey, I'm calling on you. Craig, is the microphone still not working? Is it working? Have y'all rolled it around in Jesus' blood? Is it like, cause the blood still works? Is it working? It's still working. The blood, 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 the Raggedy as all hell down there. At least it was. It was. Cars. And you know, I I, I I I definitely side with the folks that say gentrification is not the best thing when it drives out the folk, the folks that were there. However, uh -huh. I ask to those who are not in support of gentrification, what is the alternative? Because the area has been raggedy for the last forty years, hey, Papa. and the area was yours. And you didn't do anything. Yeah, with it. But now you want to get an attitude. Speak, Donnie. But somebody want to come and take what you have. Speak, Donnie. And clean it up. Speak, Donnie. And stir it up. Speak, Donnie. And nice it up. Speak, Donnie. And take up your rent. Speak, Donnie. So don't get mad when them folks do what the hell you should have did 40 years ago. And I rest my case. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Come on, dude. All right. I agree with come you. However, Come on, what I'm going to say is, if black people, because I'm a finance 
finance manager. Black I do cars, I do mortgages, I help you people with their credit. Mm -hmm. Now, when, what gentrification is, is people with money come move into a poor area and they offer to buy your homes. Mm -hmm. Now, in Charlotte, that land is worth so much. You got people been here for years and yeah. they may have bought a house, but it's dilapidated. And they're in poverty. They can't take care of their home. So somebody come in and say, I'm going to give you $75,000 mm -hmm. uh -huh. for this home. And you don't owe but $25,000. you are going to take your $50,000 and go. Right. But see, they're going to knock your house down. It's going to raise up the price to $125,000. Mm -hmm. Now you can't live there. So it's a good thing and a bad thing. My my prosecution of the people who are gentrifying is not against the people who are gentrifying, but us who are allowing it to happen. Oh. Okay. Oh, place the blame where it belongs. I'm with you. As long as we blame other people mm -hmm. and don't take responsibility for our own selves, we will always be enslaved thinking somebody else is bringing us down when we're bringing our own selves down. Yeah. Say it. Now, all I'm saying is 2019, everybody knows about credit. You know you need to get your shit together. If your grandmama living in a house and it's debilitated, but you done moved on to New York City and Boston, you living good in Dallas, you need to go back and check on her. And you need to make sure she doesn't sell that house for pennies. Because that house is worth millions now. Oh, yes. So that is what gentrification is doing. We need to hold on to it. Hold on to it and refuse. And if they come back with you, then with eminent domain, say, absolutely not. I will buy my own land. I will buy my own land. We have got to start taking care of these people. These people have been in these houses 30, 50, 60 years. But their grandchildren have left them. And grandmamas are spending their equity to get boo-boo and juju -boo yeah. out of jail. We got to stop it. Stop it. Hold on to your equity. Hold on to your so equity. So gentrification is actually a good thing in a lot of ways. Gentrification is a bad thing. Because they're going to clean up the neighborhood when we're not cleaning it up. I don't care up. what you say. It's a bad Hallelujah. thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time they come in and we take our land. We your gentrification. It's a bad Get thing. Get your credit together. We got it together. Grab your equity. We got it together. Cash it out. Oh, yeah. That's all I got to this say. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 No, 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 uh, That's right. right. No, yeah. let, let me say this. Let That's me say the rim. Let me say this. Let me say this. Come on, speak. She sounded good. Uh huh. Gentrification is not a good thing. Okay. Because I'm from Houston, Texas. Uh huh. And we had gentrification to take place in Houston, Texas. And tell me what happened. But when they came and they rebuilt, the first people that were allowed to move back were the people that they moved out. <laughs> So they can have the gentrification, but the people that they put out, they need to be the first ones they let come back in. So it ain't got nothing to do with owning the land and doing this with the land. and doing. It's got to do with if you want to do things universally. It can be done. Gentrification, they can rebuild. And oh, 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 wait a minute. We got D back. D, back. D done came back. I'm going to agree with you. Uh -huh. I'm going to agree with you, and I'm going to give you a little history lesson on Atlanta. Come on, D. My mother moved to Techwood Homes in 1997. Yeah, you know Techwood, Tech yeah. by George okay. Tech. Okay. No, she didn't. She moved there in 1985. Yeah, My your bad. mind is gone. I've been drinking. Yeah. I've been drinking. You, drink. you all know that when them Olympics came, what they do? They moved all those people out. That's what they do and every city. The oh, no, oh, no, stop right there. Yes, they do that in every city. They still doing that. Yes, every they do. Every city that they had a Super Bowl in, they go in and they move the homeless out. Yes. And they build it up and clean it up, and they put them out. And then when the Super Bowl over, they come right back. They just did it in Atlanta last year. Said my mama wasn't homeless. She was living in a housing project. Oh. And she was one of the first people they let move back in. If you act right and you do what you're supposed to do and you ain't no hellion, They'll let you move back here. But let me tell y'all something. We as black folks, uh -huh. we got to take responsibility. Yeah. We got to stop saying that we rich like this and not like this. Yeah. Because
Because we are rich like this and like this. And lastly, and as long as we rich like this and like this, you, we got to step off in our I neighborhood wanna, also wanna say and buy thing. our property and move our people in but and I, stop trying to raise the prices of rent so high that nobody can't stay in there, but nobody can't shop in there, nobody can't this. do none of those things. We got but, to take care of each other as African American people. We also, we also got to recognize this. Poverty. My God, my God, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. We also Hold have on, to Dr. recognize. Wait, wait a minute. I think Joe is caught in the spirit over there. And Joe better be careful because I see the back of those heels. It's leaning real hard. And Joe. Joe, Joe! Oh, we don't want the Lord to knock you out of that heel, bitch, and that wig slide that way. Baby, we also my grandmother always said, when you shouting in the spirit, the Holy Ghost got you. <laughs> Somebody was waiting on my wig to come off, but the Holy Ghost got you. Listen, on, a, on, a, on, no a, on a very serious note, okay, hold on. on a very serious note, we also have to acknowledge that poverty is a mindset. And everybody that is moved out is not worthy of being moved back, back in. in. Okay? I love black folks. I hate niggas. That's right. Okay? And you got some of them folks that you move out that need to stay that out. That need to stay the fuck out. Okay? So we have got to find a way as people, government, and development to find the happy medium between gentrification. Because I am not a fan. The area been raggedy for 40 years. I'm not a fan of leaving it raggedy for another 40. Quiet as it's kept, I, because I can afford it like this and not like this, I'm actually a fan of survival of the fittest and I'd rather them redevelop the area than to leave it poor for another 40 years. I'm sorry. All right. All right. But I say my prosecution is the elected officials in the state of North Carolina, not just Charlotte, because if they put in, in rules, just like New York has, that forces new buildings to set aside a Certain portion amount. amount for low and moderate income, we wouldn't have the problem that we're having now. Also, stop giving these criminals that's tearing up the neighborhoods ankle bracelets and letting them back into the neighborhood so they could tear up the neighborhood so it could bring down the property value so then the people with money can come in and take over those neighborhoods displacing people that is a big problem in the city of charlotte they give these these people that's tearing up the neighborhoods ankle bracelets monitors and let them go home for them to commit another crime they just tear down the neighborhood back to back to back to back, to back. And we can't get rid of them out of the neighborhoods. No matter what you do, you can have a so what's the, tape or whatever. So they what's the overall? So what is the overall my, takeaway? My solution is hold your elected officials accountable. Responsible. Mm. Go to city council. Y'all know city council is Monday night, every Monday night in Charlotte. Hold them accountable. Know who's running for election. 2020 is coming. Hold them I'm with her. All right. I move for the entire city of Charlotte <laughs> to attend six consecutive city council meetings. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Next case. All right. Hey. Next Speaking case. Right on. Speaking of 2020 elections. Uh. Uh. Child Trump rich like this and not like this. Okay. Elaborate. Please explain. Come on, Sophia. You, you, you set it up. What is this? This is about Trump. Come on. Let me put my eyelids on. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Trump taxes. Okay. okay. We've been trying to get Trump taxes ever since before he started running for president. Mm -hmm. Trump is not showing his taxes. Now, the problem is, presidents since uh, Nixon have been showing their taxes, but it's not the law. So they've been voluntarily showing, them, showing us their taxes. So now with Trump, Trump is in so much trouble tied in with Russia and now other countries that they think that he's tied in with and he's making money from these other countries. Now Congress has subpoenaed his taxes. And by law, they are supposed to turn over his taxes to Congress. So now 
they have ignored the subpoenas and they're talking about they're going to go to court and they're going to fight it out in court. But all they're doing is trying to buy time because eventually, the, the, if they go to the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, they're going to have to turn over those taxes. And I think the Democrats have been playing it smart. Everybody's been saying that the Democrats need to be careful because they're going down this rabbit hole with Trump, and th th with Trump, and that's what he wants. But I think the Democrats have been playing it smart, and they intentionally held off on from subpoenaing those taxes so he could be in the middle of his re-electing and running for president again so he'll have to deal with this, and he can't focus, he can't focus anyway because he ain't got no brain to be no president. He should never be the president. But they, they st strategically, they did that. But uh, I don't know about y'all, but I think he gonna be the president in 2020. No. I do. Even white folks mad he with his not, ass. He not gonna be the president because Auntie Maxine's gonna make sure he's not. Well, uh, I told y'all this, honey, when he was running before that he was gonna be the president. I don't remember if y'all watched that video. I was on YouTube with that yellow turban on and that camp. Uh, he gonna No, you rebuke it. What is he doing? He gonna be the president. He gonna be the president. He gonna be. He gonna. What is it? He gonna be the president. He gonna. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my, listen. We, we can't listen. care her nowhere. Li we can't, listen, li I'm listen. sitting over here perched and classy. Li listen, listen. The people can't see that wig sticking on her head. Listen, she tarrying, listen. You did all, listen, she did all that tearing, that man gonna still be the president in 2020. Because you know why? You know why he gonna be the president in 2020? He got all the way, he did everything he wanted to do. They let him. We let him. Oh. I think thank America Holy Spirit. Thank I think, you Holy Spirit. I think America fed up. No, the Holy Spirit just spoke. The Holy Spirit said, you are right. Uh-huh. He is gonna be the president. But he's gonna be the president of Trump Tower. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So what we ruling on this case? So what we, we gonna do about this tax? What we got to move? What we gonna, what we gonna do about this tax? Shine. Life. Oh, y'all want him to die? Fine with me. Next case. All right. All right. We sent us, we sent us Trump to a, we sent us Trump to Trump Towers and it collapsed in 2020 on, Trump, on top of Trump. All right. Speaking of something else that's collapsing. All right, the shooting at UNCC. Now y'all wanted to talk about this. Y'all put this together on Sunday at the brunch. Okay, so please. What is that, University of what? North Carolina, Charlotte. So tell us what happened in this case, Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte this is your case. Charlotte, Craig, where you? Well, apparently somebody got shot. What? what? D, you ready? Come on, D, what happened? I mean, bitch, I'm just reading the headlines. Come on. Now, y'all don't want to put this on the docket. Y'all scared. Come on. G give her a microphone, Craig. Craig, give it to this young lady right here. Right here with her hand up. Y'all put this on the docket at the front. Boops, if you don't move, yo. Slide your ass out the way. And y'all hush that first while we court is in session. All right, come on, mama. It was some bullshit. What okay. happened? The white people are always shooting. And they make it to jail. And our black boys get killed. So it was some bullshit. So That's tell us what happened, because I, 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 what happened? He was on campus, and he shot some people. Like three people, he shot them, and we had a dude on Beta for a roll that they told him to put his gun down. He complied, put his gun down, and they killed him. Oh. They shot him, but the white boy made it to prison. They say he shot That's six, but two died. That's right. Okay, just so I can have some clarity, what were they doing when the police got called? They were in class. They were in class? Yes. Just yes. minding their business. Minding their business. So they're guilty of being black and in college? Exactly. That's what they are. But we at Burger King, they say, put your gun down. 
He put his gun down and they shot him. Was Craig, this a, was this Craig, campus? hold on. Was this we got some noise over here in the corner. Y'all got the hush, hush the fuss. Was this a campus police officer? No. This no. was the city of Charlotte. That's right. That's right. It was a student. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Just, but I'm, just so we can rule properly, I'm still lost on how we go from I'm in class doing my work to getting shot. Give somebody fill in the gap for me. Yes, yes. please. All right, All right. And, and speak loud. Craig, get that coda together over there. Hi, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Um, Don't come up here nervous, this is your chance. Sorry, sorry. This is your, you're standing before the council of the Lord before you speak to the Lord himself. That's the one I had sent you that screenshot about. What he had? Uh, remember I sent so, you that screenshot, um, he said he was a fan. My name is Marcus. Oh, hey, Marcus. I actually graduated from UNC Chapel Hill yesterday. Oh, okay. congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, yes. <laughs> um, College is, re college is really hard. Um, it doesn't matter if it was magnum cum laude or thank you laude. I got out of there. Okay. Um, and alive, apparently. Yeah, mm. yeah. But I failed one class, and so Okay, I girl, give us the case. What does this got to do with the case? Okay, okay. What? I see okay, why he so shot. actually, with the case, basically, uh -huh. you had six students. Gio, hey, 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 hey. I need y'all to quiet down one second, because I'm trying to understand what the fuck going on. Basically, what you had was six students who were harmed at UNC Charlotte. What color Five. were the students? What? They were white. All the students were white. What yeah, color was the shooter? He was, he was, he was mixed, but white. He he was mixed. Okay, what is mixed and what, what is mixed and white? What does that mean? Like, he was white enough to like pass by and make it out alive. He was, he was white. He was white. He was white. He was white. Okay. Okay, so this is a case of white people shooting more white people. Yeah. Case dismissed. Next case. Next case. Girl, I thought we had to call the NAACP for this shit. I was trying to, I was up in serious as hell trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Girl, y'all spent all this motherfucking time talking about, girl, let white people handle their own damn problems. Next case. That's what the fuck we've been praying for. White people shooting white people is the hope and the dream of the slave, okay? We've been waiting on that. White on white crime. White on white crime. Y'all yes. cut the bullshit. Next case. Okay. All, right. All right. But hold on, before we move on. Hold on now. Before we move on, I have to say something. Okay, I'm listening. Girl, I'm mad as hell we don't spend all that time. I, I'm sitting there thinking a damn white officer don't shot six black damn sister. students. Let me tell y'all uh, one thing about me. I don't give two hells what the fuck white people do within their community, okay? The same way they don't give a fuck what the fuck we do within ours. Okay? But no, hold on, Dr. Eva, hey, hold on. Before you even say that, now yesterday in the brunch, this the shit that we was talking about in the brunch. In the brunch that, that Sophia came through and crashed with that Gucci hat on. Bitch. And my Gucci shoes and my Gucci bag. Now she came to the button. Yesterday we were talking about we cannot hold all white people responsible for the things that I 100% agree. We cannot do that. I 100% agree. However, mm -hmm. with everything that is going on in the black community, I do not have the mental bandwidth or emotional capacity to give two fucks about what white people are doing to other white people. I have enough problems of my own that I'm invested in within my community to spend 20 minutes on a white man shooting six other white men. They've got enough power, resources, and money in this country to to handle their own damn problems. Next case. Oh. Somebody want to speak. Hi, hi, my name is Briante. Nice to meet everybody. Hello, baby. Um, I do want to say fuck that because I love you, but I actually went to UNC Charlotte. So it's like the fact that if I were to actually be in class and somebody came at me, regardless of race or anything like that, that happened in Charlotte in my city. So like that could have happened to me, my brother, my sister, or anything like that. So it actually should be considered with, with like regarding violence within our city. Right. And then when it comes to, because people over here made a good point when it came to, um, you was talking about the black guy that got sh that shot at Burger King. So comparing to that, this guy at, at, that got the, did the shooting, exactly, the guy that did the shooting at UNC Charlotte, he got arrested or whatever, but he was accused of having um, autism. Exactly, mental issues and autism that affected it. 
versus this guy that who just got shot because he complied and he was at fucking Burger King. Burger King. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, he didn't do nothing. And I completely all, respect the fact that you are. I respect the fact that you were a student, therefore you have a a, a a closer connection to the situation. But I just have one question for you. Can you guys point me in the direction of any forum in this country where there is a group of white people sitting around having a 15 or 20 minute discussion about black people shooting other black people within their community? When you can, when you can, that's when I will make it a point of mine to give two fucks about a white man shooting six other white men. I'm sorry. It's got to be reciprocated. Black people, we are the most forgiving people in this country. We are the punching bag for every race. We find a way to apologize. I'm sorry. They, as, and I'm not talking about them as individuals, because I see this white brother right here, and I love him for being here. I think white people are great as individuals. As a collective, I think I don't think they shit. And when you can show me a room, a collective of white people sitting around worried about black people shooting other black people, then I'll find some empathy in my heart. But until then, I'd rather spend this time talking about the black boy that shot the other black boy before I spend two more minutes talking about a white boy that shot six other white boys when we got white officers shooting black boys all day long. I don't want to hear it. I have no tolerance for it. Next case. I Next case. Reopen this case. case. We're reopening Next this case. case. Now, Next I want to case. Say, I want to say, I want to say, I feel all white people are not bad white people. Right. Come on. But because, all white people are bad white people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said a lot. It. You said a lot. Let me just say, all white people are not bad white people. No. There are some good white people. I work with good white people. Maddie worked with good white people. All white people are not bad white people. White. I think the reason Dineva and so many other black people opinion is so strong about a situation like this is because ever since Rodney King got killed, or uh, he got beat in Los Angeles, how many black boys and girls have been killed since? By white people. And it's just like, we keep, and I tell us all the time, we always marching and protesting when it happens. But once time passed, we forget about it as though times have changed and the laws have changed. And then you all were talking about going to city council meetings, you know, go to a city council meeting, you know, like six straight. No, what you should do is follow the lead of the mothers who lost their sons to violence. Since they couldn't get the people in office who would protect their boys and pass laws that would protect their boys, they ran for office themselves. They have a lot of women that won their elections this past election because they decided to take matters into their own hands. They were dependent on the old white men that were in Washington, D.C. and been there for years and passing the seats down from generation to generation. They got up, they went, they signed up to become congresswomen, and they won. We even have gay people who have won elections now. So now it's just like the reason people's opinion like that is so strong is because for years, years, after Rodney King, it's just constantly. Rodney King, then it's Trayvon Martin, and then it's Tremere Look, Rice, and then it's This is the last thing going. I want to say. Y'all want to live like white people, but you don't want to think like them. Like I said, show me a forum, no. show me a forum where there's a room full of white people discussing a shooting amongst a black boy shooting six other black boys. You won't show me one. So I'm not understanding why a room full of people who are black like this and that, not like this and are is even not, wasting their time. Hold that, on. That, no. Discussing an issue that does not even affect us. That, that, how does that, that, that issue affect that us? It's not how true. does that it affect not true. How does it affect us? You said show it it affects us. Hold on. It affects us because we're human beings. Oh, thank you. Okay. So it's we're human all. when it comes to them, but when it comes to us, we're not human. Look, no. I, be look I believe in the diversification of man, but I think that the topic was leading to if he were black, he would not have been smiling walking into the jail cell. Fuck that he shit, would fuck have them. been dead. Uh, Sitting where he stands, 
so to dismiss the case that quickly, I don't think it's a prevalence, not in this city, not in any city, because he was Caucasian. He walked in incarcerated. Now again, I say, I'm for the diversification of men. I think we should share our cultures and get to know each other. But if he were black in this city, he wouldn't have lived. When they and start to treat us the same way they treat each other, then I give a fuck about what's going but on in that community. Answer, Until then, next case. To answer your question, show you a room full of white people that are sitting around discussing black boys that are being so, killed. They're running for president on a Democratic ticket. And they are all talking about uh, prison reform and all of that. So they are the talking about what's it. What's the name? Bernie Sanders. Amy. Who? Amy. Who is Amy? Amy's running. Amy Who is Corbuchow, Amy? Corbuchow, whatever her last name. Amy's talking about it. See, I don't uh, even know her. Because you don't watch. You don't watch. You're not watching who runs. Don't tell me what I but watch, the, bitch. But, no, but you don't know her. If you watch, you would know her. Who is, you don't even know the bitch's last know, name. Amy, Amy, I don't know how to pronounce the last what's name. What's her last name? Google her. These people don't Google know her. Google her. Next she's, from, she's from Minnesota. No. no bitch, carry your ass back to Minnesota because you don't know what the fuck oh, you're talking bitch. about. Next oh, case. See, all right. Let's see. Speaking okay. of speaking. Speak. Yeah, we might as well skip this one because this one going to make me mad too. Here we go. So go ahead and go to the next one. Hold on, we got to go. Because this stuff got real churchy. Let I got us one question, Maddie. Oh, okay. Do black lives only matter if you're black? Do black lives only matter when white people kill us? See, y'all going deep now. But it's a deep issue. Deep. But it's a deep issue. And yes. you know what? We are deep people and we can go there. Yes, and, and, and to what answer I your question. Know is, are we marching and are we upset when Pookie kills Steven? No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> we're not. No, we're black not. lives matter. I'm a 24-year-old yep. son. I would be outraged if a white man killed my son. I'd be outraged if a black man killed my son. His life would still matter. And the thing that aggravates me is yes. we get so upset when we hear that a black person's been killed by a white person but we want to act like we got all this street bullshit about we ain't snitching if Pookie kill your damn child. And now that's we the need point. To, we need to really, now seriously, now we're here to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. But we also need to have the real honest conversations. Our lives really do matter regardless of who takes them. And that's all I wanted to share. <sighs> Excuse me, because what we're not going to do is erase the work of working class black women since Fannie Lou Hamer, who have been on the motherfucking ground, making sure that the black community is safe. We can't do that. Yes, we do have these conversations about black on black crime, because every community has white on white, Muslim on Muslim, green on green crime. Everyone has, as Franz Fanon said, violence starts with the oppressed. We turn inward when we are oppressed, okay? You cannot erase, erase the work of black women who have been doing this for years. There is a whole lynching museum in Birmingham, Alabama. This shit did not start with Rodney King. We just got cameras with Rodney King. Right. So we can't, we, like we can have these conversations, but we cannot as a black community rely on a carceral state. We, we can like, if you're gonna talk about it, we gotta talk about it. And that means y'all have to know y'all history. And that there are people here in Charlotte, there are people here in North Carolina, who are working to make sure that everything you're thinking about Jurors, I need you to report and report now to the Dominican Republic. Mm. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Queen's Supreme Court uh. is bringing the seat to the Dominican Republic. July 12th through the 16th, we are going on an all-inclusive food, drink, activities, and lodging, uh. baby, to the Dominican Republic. Get your tickets on www.wetravel.com, baby. That's www.wetravel.com. Come. We'll look for the link in the bio. But child, honey, we are going to have an amazing time. Now, all you got to do is get your passport and get your plane ticket. We got everything else, girl. Tickets are available now. Don't waste no time, baby. Don't waste no time. 
until July 12th to the 16th. The Queen's Supreme Court in the Dolphin Republic on the corner.